Yes, guys, we're back. And as you can see, it's a different setting. We're in a different city even. But today is also a different kind of match. I have Stevie and Torres on my screen here, which is not something I've said in a very, very long time or th that I've ever said on stream, actually, because I was a kid when Stevie and Torres were playing. But they're both starting today for the Liverpool Legends against Ajax Legends. And I'm pumped. I mean, as you can see, that's the team sheet. This is always a beautiful occasion. I mean, first and foremost, it's obviously for charity. And we have a record attendance today of nearly 60,000 at Anfield. So it's going to be a special, special day. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the building. Let me know how you're doing, guys. Yo, Darth Gamer is at Anfield. Who are you most excited to see? SRC Kicks? Definitely Stevie G. I mean, he's the reason I started supporting this football club. And seeing him and Torres link up is going to be special. But I want to know who you guys are most excited to see. Yo, Trent Boys in the house. Garvit, happy early birthday to your sister. What time is kickoff? It is at 3 p.m. UK time. So in exactly 13 minutes, you guys. 13 minutes. Yo, the Mighty Reds is in the building. Sven, exactly what Tonsilitis is saying, Lord. Today is also really about Sven Eriksson, you know, the fact that, you know, he was recently diagnosed with terminal cancer. And he said, you know, when that happened, that one of his dreams that he wished had come true was to manage Liverpool. And the fact that they've been able to make it happen, he's going to be managing the Liverpool legends today. It's just a beautiful act, you know, and it's going to be emotional. Especially, I think, when You'll Never Walk Alone is going to be sung at Anfield. Pfft, it's going to be something really, really special. Yes, Luke edits. I'm in Lille. Exactly. I've moved to Lille. And uh, this is the first time you'll be able to see this background setting. As you can see, I've put up two po Actually, one of them you can't see. But the Bobby poster is right here that you saw in the other place. And then Jurgen Klopp and Bill Shankly is right here. But yeah, guys, let me know who you're most excited to see. I'm going to pull this up right now. So this is a lineup that I showed you guys. Dudek, uh, Quarme, Skirtle, Agar, Aurelio, Maxi, Rodriguez, Sissoko, Spearing, Babel, Gerard, and Torres. The last two is what's got me really pumped, you guys. Really, really pumped. But let me show you guys. So this, obviously... This is what I've been saying. This is them in the dressing room before the game today. Stevie G and Fernando Torres, they were an unbelievable duo. And I w was watching some of the insiders training yesterday. And man, Torres looks fit. He looks like he hasn't lost any of it, you guys. So he's going to be one to look out for. I think he's definitely going to score today, you know, Fernando Torres. And Nino. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Stevie G that's setting him up because... You know, I've watched all the previous Legends games and Stevie G was always on another level. He was always like a tier above and he's kept fit. I mean, you can see him how he's kept fit and everything. And yeah, Luke Edits is excited to see Dudek as well. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm really hyped. So these these two, but then I also wanted to show you guys this picture. This literally had me tearing up this morning. Well, nearly te tearing up to see Jurgen, who came to see the whole team, who went to see Sven Eriksson who, like I said before, was recently diagnosed with terminal cancer. Just look at those two genuine smiles. Tell me that doesn't put a tear to your face. Come on. I mean, that's that's what Liverpool Football Club is all about, you know, and, and Jurgen Klopp definitely understands this football club. So I have no doubt that he showed up today for that, you know, to show him that support. And it just it brought such a big smile when I saw that picture this morning. Trent Boy, it's, the match is going to be live on Liverpool's YouTube channel. So that's what I have open here on a second screen. So if you guys have two screens, that's the best way to try to do it. Damn, Will X edits. I hope you feel better. And it's beautiful to see you in the building again. This will make us miss him even more. Love you, Jurgen. I know. Just seeing that smile, I couldn't. And you saw him link up with Stevie G too. It was also pff, real emotional. <laughs> The world is a better place with Jurgen, absolutely. 
Oh, perfect, Garvit. That's the best way. Yeah, if you have two screens, then you can you can be with us on the watch along and then at the same time watch the the Legends game. Let me see here. Um, I'm going to pull up the lineup again for those of you that missed it. I'm going to keep that here just because you'll want to see um, who's on the score sheet. But I don't think it's going to be easy for Ajax, the Ajax Legends, to score because you look at that center back partnership of Martin Skirtle and Daniel Agger and you know, they're still both quite young and they're both fighters. So you best believe they're going to be giving 110%, even if this is technically a friendly today. So good luck. Good luck to the attackers that are up against Martin Skartel and Daniel Agger. Thank you, Tazif, for your kind message. Yo, Dane is back. Nice to see you, and yes, I have moved. As you can see, it's a different background. I'm actually in a new city too. Now I'm in Lille, which is in the north of France. But how was your boarding school? It's been a while, man. Are you going to watch the England versus Brazil friendly slasher if enough of you ask to do a watch along later tonight to, for the Brazil-England game? I will do it because that's a massive... I know it's a friendly, but it will be a massive game because we don't... There aren't many friendlies before the Euros, and obviously England and Brazil don't play often. So I will do a live stream of that if enough of you want to do it. Want it. Pertna's in the building. Nice to see you. When is the game? The game is in eight minutes now. In eight minutes. The kickoff is at 3 p.m. UK time. We need Jamie Carragher. Yeah, he's not he's not in the squad this time around. But like I said, you look at that, you look at that. Center back partnership, and I'm not worried. Martin Skirtle and Daniel Agger, like I said, they're fighters, they're warriors, and they have the mentality where no matter what, they give absolutely everything. That's what I'm hyped for. Yo, Tommy Slav is in the building. Nice to see you. My day is going really well so far. I went on a long walk in a park near where I live called the Parc de la Citadelle that I love. It's such a nice park. And I gotta say, you know, I've really loved being in Lille so far because. Uh, yeah, I'm really close to this park and I've just been spending a lot of time outdoors. And for me, at least for the mental health, it helps so much. So thanks for asking though, Tomislav. How are you doing? How's your day been so far? And go Virgil's in the building. Nice to see you. It's a rainy day in New York City. Mahilio, nice to see you in the building too. You said, I got my popcorn blanket, Leo and Liverpool YouTube. Let's go. Mahilio, it's so good to see you. And... Uh, and yeah, let's. I, I'm sure this is going to be full of action. This is going to be a really fun day, you guys. Especially, at least from my point of view, st seeing Stevie and Torres link up again and, and smiling and hugging again like that is not something we often see. You know what I mean? That's what I love about it. Adnan, you'll be able to see it on Liverpool's YouTube channel. They're going to be, they live, they're live streaming the game there. Got the match and stream up at the same time. Love it, Trent Boy. Yes, Deli Aura, nice to see you in the building. This is the new background because I'm actually in a new city too, Deli Aura. Now I'm, I'm in Lille. I just moved here for two months because I'm trialing living here basically because I've always loved this city. And uh, and yeah, so new, new place. Let's see how it goes. But so far, I love it. Like I was telling Tomislav. But how are you, how are you doing, Deli Aura? It's just amazing to be able to watch our legends. You'll never walk alone so, from South Africa. I know, right? Nuat, it's amazing. Like, I, I love these Legends games. I really do. Because, again, they really are end-to-end. -end. And this is just, like, for good vibes, you know what I mean? So there's going to be loads of goals. And, uh, and yeah. Oh, shoot. Actually, oh, my God. I'm doing this so last minute, guys. Shoot. I completely uh, forgot to add the scoreboard. My apologies. Because you guys still want the scoreboard for this game, right? That way that way you can see when the game um, shoots. Let me move this a bit over like that. And then the scoreboard will be able to be here. Let me do it like this. Okay, so the scoreboard is there. I'm going to get rid of the lineup. Guys, you should be able to see the scoreboard.
<laughs> because I was just about the vibes, you guys. I didn't prep the the scoreboard yet. My bad on that. Let me just do that right now. Um, oh no, it is not four nil just yet. We are still a nil nil. The players are coming out onto the pitch. Oh no, Sven Eriksson. Look at Sven Eriksson leading. Oh no, it is. it's just Sven Eriksson that's coming out onto the pitch right now, you guys. No, this is too emotional. You guys. Imagine getting that tribute at Anfield. Guys, there's truly no club like Liverpool. I'm sorry. Sven Eriksson. Guys, look at that smile. He won 17 major trophies, apparently. What a legend of this club. What an absolute legend. It's a rainy day, you said, in uh, New Jersey as well. So you're going to be even cozier. Amir, yeah, let, hold on. Let me pull up the lineup for you because you, you might have arrived late, Amir. Here's the lineup. Oh, look at Stevie G lined up next to Sven. Sven, by the way, remember, was Stevie's manager during uh, when he was the England manager as well. So he has managed Stevie before in his prime too. Yo, Reese Pantry says, love the vids. Keep it up. Thank you for the super chat. Big up to you, Reese. Yes, Thunder X Edits is in the building. Stevie G with Sven. I know it's beautiful. Beautiful to see. Jay Spearing is starting too. He's definitely still going to have the stamina. Golden sky and the sweets. To the rain, walk on to the rain. It's our hero, Dudek. Oh, yes, Dudek. Michael Owen is not part of the squad, no. The atmosphere, I'm going to cry, says Luke Edits. I know. Leo Torres became 40 this week. Well, he doesn't look 40. I was watching the inside training. He looks good. Jack Parker, I shaved yesterday. I wanted the fresh look. Look at Martin Skirtle and Daniel Agar back as our center back partnership. It's been years since that happened. Kurt is on the bench, yeah. Dirk Kaut. Dirk Kaut, you mean Garvit, right? Dirk Kaut is on the bench. <clears throat> yeah, Littman in. Well, I think Ryan Bubble might actually play. If, if, if Ryan Bubble is fit enough, he might actually play for Ajax in the second half. Makes me emotional. Makes me emotional as an Arsenal fan. Big up to your club and big ups fan. Love that from Arsenal fan. That's beautiful to see. You in the building too. You'll never walk alone, guys. That was beautiful. Look at that Anfield crowd. 60,000 reds at Anfield today for charity. This is beautiful, guys. Imagine Hendo becoming an Ajax legend. I don't think so. No matter... There's no way in the few years that he's going to be there, Dele Ora, that he's going to be able to have the kind of legacy that he built at Liverpool. I mean, think about it. At Liverpool, you literally captain us to the whole lot. You know what I mean? You, there's no chance he does that. 
There's no chance he does that over there. Oh, man. This is going to be a beautiful watch, guys. The atmosphere is there, too, guys. The atmosphere. Okay, I'm going to remove the lineup, but if any of you want to know, I, I'll, I can just repeat it to you guys. I can repeat it. Look at Jersey Dudak. Jersey Dudak. The match is about to start, you guys. They're running a little bit late. 60k in the stadium and 60 plus k watching on the LFC channel. I know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Guys, look at Fernando Torres and how fit he looks. He's literally a bodybuilder now. Fernando Torres, I'll bet you I'd be willing to put on a bet that he's scoring today. No doubt about it, guys. You'll never walk alone Sven in the chat right now, guys. Just as we're about to kick off. Day Young, who's good. Who's definitely still fit too. Guys, there's some young players in there. Like Jay Spearing. Alright guys, the game has officially kicked off. Let's go! LFC Legends against the Ajax Legends. Remember, this is all for the Liverpool Foundation for charity. And Sven Eriksson, who is managing the Liverpool Legends today. Alongside Ian Rush and King Kenny. So it's all a beautiful day, you guys. What a beautiful day this is. And, you know... I, I've been to two of the charity games actually in person. And I can tell you that even though it's a friendly, they th all of these players are so competitive that they're still going to give everything. Trust me, Fernando Torres wants to score. Stevie wants to score. This is going to be still a very competitive game because of the mentality of all these legends. And that's what I love about it. It's It remains a real spectacle. You know what I mean? On top of it, obviously, the most important thing being, you know, for charity, like I said. Daily Aura, I don't know actually. Let me check if Etifak, let me check. I can check right now if the House TVG is able to play because it's true. I don't know when the Saudi uh, season ends. No! No way have Ajax already scored, you guys. Ajax. Guys, within a minute, within, well, no, it's inside the second minute the Ajax legends have already scored. That really took me by surprise. What's happening? Let me have another look. I really didn't see that goal happening. Was he on sides? He was just wide open there. Do you see that? In the box. God damn, guys. 1-0 already for Ajax. Yonga says, big up, Leo. You'll never walk alone. Best raw LFC content creator. Thank you, Yonga, for the support. Damn, guys. I can't believe it. They scored already, lol. Daily R, at least today, we don't have to get too emotionally drawn. You know how usually Liverpool games, like the, I mean, especially the last one, like the emotions of it just becomes too much. At least here, we could just enjoy the vibes, you know? Like, obviously, we want to win and we want to see beautiful goals. But like I said, these type of games lead to a lot of goals. So the fact we've already had one, obviously, we'd rather it be Liverpool, but it's by no means over. You know what I mean? There's going to be so much more happening but yeah our defenders are sleeping a little bit there they're sleeping a little bit there <laughs> oh oof thank you reese thank you reese pantry for the support it is much appreciated this quality is fire. 
Legends are also comeback kings, maybe, says Ali Elia. Yeah, Elia, I think so. I think I think the the legends know that Klopp is in the building today and they're gonna show up for Jurgen. That's what that's what I think is gonna happen. Yeah, Jack Parker, we're one nil down, but we're gonna come back. I'm not worried. We're gonna come back. Yeah, exactly. Trem boy, Daily Aura. It's because it's the international break. That's why uh, Stevie G can play. Oh, they're actually in, they're actually picked up their form. You see, Stevie's next game is is next Friday, so it is the international break right now. That's why Stevie's able to play, just like I, you know, Ronaldo and other players, like even Genie Wijnaldum. Think about it. He's playing in the Saudi league, and he was playing for for the Dutch well, yes last night. And he scored. And by the way, Cody Gakpo got two assists. And one of his assists was for Genie Wijnaldum. So that was beautiful to see. <laughs> yeah, Torres is going to be... It's in our blood, Garvey. It is in our blood. It's in Liverpool's blood to never give up. Come on, guys. We got to get We got to get Stevie G involved in the game. This is some tea. This is some delicious tea. Go on, Fernando. Oh, nice pass from Torres. Is that to Babel? Yeah, Ryan Babel. Oh, the deflection. Back in the box. No, Torres slipped there, guys. Torres slipped. Damn, yo, Jeff Bloomberg is in the building. Nice to see you. The greatest Liverpool player of all time is Ian Rush, in my opinion, says Tazif. He is our greatest ever goal scorer, and he's probably in our top five best players. But from what I've heard, again, I haven't watched them. I was too young. But from what I've heard, it, it's almost almost every red, older red that's watched us through the different decades says that it's King Kenny. That's just what I hear. Delior says, in the future, would Suarez be considered a Barca or Liverpool legend? He would be considered both. Remember that, for example, when Luis Garcia, I was at the Liverpool-Barca legends game, and Luis Garcia played one half for Liverpool, one half for Barca, and that's what Torres will do, no doubt. You know what I mean? If if the two, you know, play, but definitely he's a legend of both clubs. I mean, what a player. Jeff Bloomberg, because I've moved to a new city, I'm in Lille now. Oh. oh, look at Anfield singing, even as we're 1-0 down to Ajax in, in this Legends game. It's beautiful. No! How are the Ajax players getting through so easily? Come on, you guys. Here we go. We got a counterattack. Play it to Fernando Torres. Okay, good. Torres has it here on the left-hand side. Torres, one, two, oh, come on. Thank you, Jeff Bloomberg. Come on, guys. Let's show. Oh, it looks like it's beautiful and sunny. At Anfield as well. It looks beautiful there. Come on. Fabio, Re oh, Fabio Relio can still whip them in. No doubt about that. No doubt about it. Oh, Stevie played a decent ball to Torres, but then he lost. Then he lost it. Now who's gonna shoot it? Oh, completely scuffed his shot. Who was that? Maxi Rodriguez. Would could she? Yeah, guys, that's a good question. Would Coutinho be considered a legend? I think so, just because you see the players that we put out on the legends, and it's a lot of players who just like cared a lot for Liverpool, and 
I still feel like Coutinho cares about Liverpool. You know what I mean? It's just like, like obviously I was emotional when he left because I, I, I loved Coutinho and he was an incredible player, especially those six months before he left. He was in the best form of his career. You know what I mean? So he was some player. But looking back, guys, it was, it's, when you're South American, it's often your childhood dream to play for Barca or Real Madrid. So to force a move makes some sense. And in the end, it really worked in our favor because we, we could sign Virgil, we could sign Son, And that's ultimately what made us so successful under Klopp. We, I don't think, we, no, sorry, there's no doubt we wouldn't have done it without those two because we, you know, we were a very good team going forward, but we couldn't defend. And without, without, top world-class defenders you can't win champions leagues you can't win premier leagues you know what i mean and and that's what virgil and Addison brought so yeah to me coutinho i no longer have hard feelings towards him i don't and definitely not suarez it's just like when people got angry that suarez celebrated when he scored against us uh in the champions league i wasn't angry at that we know he's known for a shithousery like we know that's what he's all about you know what i mean so I never understood this thing of being angry at him for celebrating against us because that's what he's all about. You know what I mean? And that's the intensity he's going to bring for us all the time. So I'm all for it. Oh, yeah. No, Divac definitely has a bigger legacy than Coutinho. No doubt about it. But how good was Coutinho, though? When, w those last six months especially. I forget. I think he had something like six goals, seven assists, like really insane numbers. Jack Parker, I see you in the other uh, group chat. I see you in the other chat with the emojis. Thank you, Willux Edits. You'll never walk alone for Sven up the Reds. What about Adam Milana? I think so too. I think Adam Milana will be considered a Liverpool legend too. Just because, again, he gave absolutely everything and he was there from the start in the Jurgen Klopp era and he's he's a model professional as well. So I'm sure Jurgen... I mean, actually, I've heard interviews and stuff, but Jurgen Klopp absolutely loves him. You know what I mean? Oh, nice ball to Fernando Torres in the box. But damn, Ajax are defending well right now, guys. Ajax are defending well. The Norwich moment. Oh, when Jurgen Klopp broke his glasses. That was so good. Poland, Bobby Firmino is up there with the great legends of the club. I'm still going to be talking about him to my grandkids. So that just tells you how good I think he was. And I definitely didn't take him for granted. But there's going to be no more Bobby Firminos in our lifetimes, I don't think. And there's never going to be one that can play the, the false nine role like he did. No one. Oh, it's a corner, guys. Corner for Ajax. Will Curtis Jones become a legend? Let's see. To be fair, he's already won the whole lot, so he could probably be considered, and he's made a decent amount of appearances. It's just like Harvey Elliott, it's insane to think that he's 20 years old and he's already made over 100 appearances for Liverpool Football Club. Like, I find that to be mad. Don't you guys? Like, it's just crazy. Garvid, I saw, I saw... Plat Plattenberg, who is a reliable journalist for the Bundesliga, said that Chabi Alonso would choose Bayern over us, but I'm not listening to, to those rumors. I'm just not because it's way too early to tell. The club probably haven't contacted, haven't had direct talks with Chabi Alonso yet, so I'm not, I'm not worried until the end of the season. I don't think Chabi Alonso is going to consider anything until the end of the season because he's smart enough to know that 
he has to be 100% focused on the Leverkusen job. You know what I mean? So it doesn't worry me, the reports that I'm seeing. Poland says, Leo, what do you think is our most iconic goal from, from my time of watching Liverpool? It's got to be the Trent corner taken quickly, Divock goal to make it 4 0. No, it just has to do that in the semi final of the Champions League, the way we came back. That, or I guess you could say this Stevie G header in Istanbul where he goes like this and he scored the, the header to make it 3 1 and to start the comeback in the Champions League final. I feel like one of those two, or the third, I would say, again, this shows how legendary Stevie G is, the Stevie G last minute equalizer against West Ham in the. 2006 FA Cup final that we then won that one too. So I think those are the top three probably. Football bros, thank you for the support. Do you think we'll win this game? Yes, I do. I think we'll complete another comeback. Aguero Torres says Tazif. If you talk about their entire careers, probably Sergio... Aguero, I think, trumps Torres just because of his longevity and how many years he did it in the Premier League. You know what I mean? Well, Fernando Torres was unbelievable for us. But after that injury that he picked up and at his time at Chelsea, he wasn't quite as good as he was before, you know? Oh, corner. And we've hit the post. Was it Fernando Torres? Yes, it was, guys. I think he's hit the post there. So close. Damn. Exactly. Having Jota Clue, that's my bigger worry. Him wanting to stay at Leverkusen. Yeah, De Liora. That That's a point. Oh, Stevie in the box. Oh, well defended by Ajax again. Really well defended. But yeah, De Liora, it's true. My, my main concern with Xavi Alonso, and it's actually something that Luis Garcia said, the only thing with Chabi Alonso that scares me is that as a manager, you're going to have so many ups and downs. And think about Jurgen, even though he hadn't managed a club of the magnitude of Liverpool, during his time at Mainz, during his time at Dortmund, he had ups and downs. And he had to figure out in those down moments how to overcome those moments, which are which is really, really difficult. Oh, I like that pressing from Fernando Torres to win the ball back. But... It's true that Chabi Alonso, since he's come into Leverkusen, it's just pretty much been smooth sailing. Like, everything has gone exactly the way you would want it to go. You know what I mean? And it's true that he doesn't have an ex the experience of all that pressure being up against him, which, if things didn't go well for him at the start of Liverpool, then definitely there would be a crazy amount of pressure. So, that that's the only thing. But, I mean, if you look at the other options... I do think I would pick, I would still pick Xavi Alonso because the other managers, all of them too, you could say the same thing. They're in, inexperienced, you know what I mean? And I guess you could say De Zerbi maybe is having a tough time at Brighton this season, but the amount of goals they're conceding scares me personally. And the part about Xavi Alonso that excites me the most is how he's able to get the best out of the young players. And we have so much youth at Liverpool that... You know, the fact that he's able to do that at Leverkusen for me is a really good sign. Really good sign. Yeah, guys, Dane is back in the building. How how's boarding school been, Dane? Because you've been away for a while and we missed you in the building. Is Chabi Alonso on the bench? No, Jaden. Who do, you th who do you think is the best legend of all time? I think it's between King Kenny and Stevie G. One of the two. Go on, Agar. I feel like we haven't tested their keeper properly yet. 
And like I said, I just want to see Stevie G more involved in the game. That's what we need to see happening. John Barnes is not playing Kean, but he's managing today. Oh, we nearly made our way into the box there. Almost. Jamie Carragher is not going to play. He's not in the squad. Trent Boy, the, the most likely option if we don't get Xabi Alonso would be Ruben Amarin from Sporting Lisbon. He won them the league title. They're playing beautiful football. But again, I think it's the same thing where he hasn't had crazy pressure or setbacks like Xabi Alonso. So it's a similar boat. But it seems like he would be the second option because, yeah, he's only 39 years old. And, yeah, he's they're playing really, really great football. Thank you, Zach. Nah, Daily Or, I think when, when we mention top five greatest Liverpool players of all time, we always put Ian Rush in there. We put Stevie G, we put King Kenny, we put Ian Rush, and, uh, and I think even if you ask King Kenny, Mohamed Salah might end up being there at the end of his time. I think Mohamed Salah could be in the top five. Um, but let me think, who else would you, who who would your guys be top five? Because I feel like it would probably be, like I said, oof, close there with the cross. I feel like, I feel like the four that really come to my mind are Ian Rush, King Kenny, Stevie G, Mohamed Salah. And then uh, who from that era was, and John Barnes probably is in the top five. I feel like those top, those five, are probably widely regarded, I feel like. Maybe Salah, not quite yet, but I think once he leaves, th they'll be putting him in, the, in that bracket. Stevie, no penalty, ref. Come on. <laughs> the crowd is booing the ref right now. We wanted a penalty. <laughs> Big up footies football. No, Steve McManaman's not playing. Oh, Maxi Rodriguez. Close, but the keeper saves it. We have a corner, guys. Corner. Nah, not Divock. Not Divock. We do love him, though. He'll forever... We'll forever cherish those memories. No doubt about it. Oh. Thank you, Rod. W plays... Oof. Ooh, nice. Look at the way we won the ball back. Ref, that's a pen. Yo. Guys. We need to go to VER right now. VER this. Guys, that's a pen in the box. Yo, guys. Come on. Block said, I'm drinking some tea. Some uh, Earl Grey. Guys, let's have a look at the replay here. Oh, what? They just cut it in the middle of the replay. Do you guys think that was a pen? Yeah, 99JM says Salah will still be a pro in 10 years. I agree with that. Oh, here we go. We're in the box. Oh, Fabio Aurelio just... Slip there in the box, though, in the final moment. Yeah, Daily Or, I think my top five would be King Kenny, Ian Rush, John Barnes, Stevie G, and Mohamed Salah. I think that would be it. That would be my top five. Oh, guys, we're getting closer here. This is good. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Trend Boy says, Leo from the 21st century, who are the top five best Premier League midfielders? I want to hear... I want to hear your guys' top five. I do think at the end of uh, 
I'm not putting him in there yet, but I do think Rodri might be there by the end of his time at City, unfortunately. But definitely, you got to put Stevie G in there. The thing that's crazy is, you know, out of that, out of those years, you have Patrick Vieira, you have Roy Keane, you have Frank Lampard, you have Paul Scholes, you have Stevie G. That's already five there, right? All of them were world class. Now, does Kevin De Bruyne get in there? I think so because of the amount of league titles he's won. So I think, I do think you put in. Oh, is that a corner? No, the keepers caught it. See, Trent Boy is going with De Bruyne, Lampard, Stevie, Paul Scholes, David Silva. Ah, I feel like Patrick Vieira or Roy Keane have to be in there. One of them. I do think so. Here we go. Stevie in the box. Oh, is that a corner? I think we have a corner, guys. Look at Stevie G and Torres linking up. That's what we like to see. Dennis Bergkamp, I don't know if you'd really count him as a midfielder, though, because he was so attacking. Yo, the Scouser, nice to see you. Uh, yeah, there'll potentially be more. There'll potentially be more, but... Um, oh, look at Chris Marr in the building. I see you. But, uh, but yeah, the most important, the Scouser that I'm so happy about is I was worried that the... Oh, corner! Skirtle, oh, saved. No, Torres almost on the rebound there. Oh my God, that was close. It took a deflection off the defender and that was just wide of the post after. Damn. But uh, but yeah, like I said, the most important is the connection and none of you seem to say that it's lagging or anything like that. So that's a blessing because I wanted to make sure the Wi-Fi was good, obviously. Um, because yeah, I'm going to be in this setup until the end of the season. So... <sighs> What a chance that was. Uh, Ar Ar Aryun says, how would you rank our forwards right now? If I were to rank our front five, based off of form and everything, I would put Salah in first. I would put Diogo Jota in second. I would put Darwin in third. I would put Lucho in fourth. And I would put Cody Gakpo in fifth. That would be the order. That I would put at least off off of this season, for example, that would be the order. I know, Tommy Slav. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. We're gonna get the goal. I'm not worried about it. Whoa, Ajax is already, make a tri already making a triple change. Yeah, the Scouser. I just got, I, I would have to find the best way to do that. But something that we could do tonight is the England Brazil game, I think, will be really fun to watch because they don't play often. So if you want to see a watch along, for that tonight, let me know because that could be something that we do. Joe Gomez is likely going to start in that game. And I do think both teams will go really strong because there's going to be... It's one of the last friendlies before the actual Euros. Edgar Davids. Guys, Edgar Davids. Look at him coming onto the pitch. Legend. He's an Ajax legend. But you could probably consider him. Oh, yeah, he played for Spurs. I forgot from 2005 to 2007. But most of his appearances came at Juventus from 1998 to 2004. He made 159 league appearances for them. And yeah, he came from the Ajax Academy. So clearly an Ajax legend. I know that it is a W match, especially for the for the cause. 
Big up to you, Anais, and respect to you as a City fan. Big respect to you. Are you watching Brazil versus England? I would watch it if we're doing a watch along and you guys want to see it. Then I'll do it tonight because I do think it's going to be a good game. Even though it's a friendly, like I said, I do think they'll both treat it seriously because of the tournaments coming up and because it's the last international friendly before they're really coming up. So, And Joe Gomez, I think, will start for England, hopefully. So. Thank you, Everything Gaming. I am in a new house in a new city. I'm in Lille in the north of France. And uh, and yeah, it's only been like three days. It's only been three days, but big up to you. Thank you for the support. You'll never walk alone. Love it, Arav. Big up. Ronnie Prime, big up from Iceland. Where are you? Where are you based in Iceland? Quel est ta légende du LFC préféré, Arjun? Stevie G, without a doubt. Oh, Fernando, Stevie G nearly played a ball through to Fernando Torres. Imagine, imagine that. Leo, who's the best Brazilian player you've ever seen? Ronaldinho. If you talk about Prime, but weirdly enough, when I was a kid, I, I, I. You know, when you're a kid, you love to watch magical players. And I actually bought the first ever shirt that I actually ever got, guys. This is not good. You're not going to be happy because it actually isn't a Liverpool shirt. Um, but I was so small and I don't know what I had seen. But I asked for my birthday for a Robinho shirt. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm just being honest. But obviously now, uh, I'm not just saying that, you know, that awkward reaction because he played for City. But... Also with the fact that he's now potentially serving nine years of prison for sexual assault. I recently I recently saw that news. Yes, it is Willex Edits. It's in Lille. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Dane is back in the stream. I know the scouts are it's so good to have Dane back. Yeah, Robinho. Semi Schinkel says, "What, what five youngsters would you would you make a legend for Liverpool based off their season?" That's tough. That's tough. What I would definitely say is, yeah, I think you guys asked me that question before, but I'll always stick to it. The youngster I'm most excited about that I think could could actually become world class is Stefan Bajetic. I mean, we'll have to see how he returns now that he's transformed his body. He's much taller, much stronger. So let's see how agile he is. Let's see what that actually means for how he looks on the pitch. But he's going to be back after the international break, you guys. And the good news is now we have depth in our midfield, so we won't have to rush him back. We'll be able to give him whatever minutes is safe for his body. But I'm hyped to see him back just because, he, for me, he's the one that has the highest ceiling. He came into the team and just looked a level above all of our other midfielders, and that's why, for me, he's the one. Pertna, when is the Iceland-Ukraine game? When is it? It's on Tuesday night. Potentially, Pertna. The thing is, we're the only ones that are Icelandic and then one other in the building. That's the only thing. Big up to Red's army in India. You'll never walk alone. Uh-oh, that was a bit dangerous for Martin Skirtle there. Did you guys see what he just did in the box? Damn. Big up to you, Yusuf. Subaslife fan number one is also from Iceland. Damn. 
Damn. Here we go, guys. We have a counterattack here. No, what is that pass? No, he almost made it to... Made it out to Fernando Torres. Come on. No, guys. Come on. Oh, in the box. No, Ajax, I swear, are defending so well. Did you guys see that block? Guys. Yes, and I think Mohamed Salah will go down as the greatest winger the Premier League's ever seen. I left that as a comment on Instagram today. Okay, it's a goal kick for us. It's a goal kick. Who's better, Alisson or Edison? Is that even a question? Come on. Is that even a question? I know, Dilly Or, I told you, I've been to, I've been to two of the Legends games at Anfield, and you wouldn't believe how seriously they take it. Like, they'll definitely party tonight, because again, it's, they don't need to take care of their bodies like they used to, but when they're actually on the pitch, they do not want to lose. These are, co like, that competitive mentality never goes away. So, I'm personally, I personally think that yeah, this is gonna this is not gonna be easy to come back come back in. Go on, Stevie. Yeah, definitely will excited. It's, there'll be a whole load of changes at halftime. A whole lot of changes. <laughs> Look at that slip. Who do you think will win England versus Brazil? Guys, I really think I'm going to do a watch along for that one. Because it's going to be so, so hard to predict. And what time is it at UK time? It's at 7 p.m. UK time. So I would really start that stream at 7 p.m. UK time, right when it starts. Yeah, Amir, we can keep a we can keep a close eye on that game too. But I think the one we want to see most is is probably England Brazil, just because also Joe Gomez is back in the team and everything. Yeah, so both sides scored, guys. If you look, Van Dyke edits just mentioned it. If you look at Subasai's penalty for Hungary last night, you'll see that he shot again in the same place he always shoots bottom. Bottom left-hand corner, but no keeper in the world can save it. It's unbelievable. Ooh, good save there from Dudek. Good save there. Very good. Okay, Trump boy. See you in the second half. Dudek with another save there, guys. Ajax really want to save this one, guys. 
Ajax really want to win this one. Uh-oh. Oh my, that was an important block in the box. And now we're gonna have now we're gonna have a counterattack. I did not see this cut that I got. I played football on Thursday night and I got some cut in the arm. Stevie plays it out wide to Fernando Torres. Come on, come on, come on. Ajax really are holding on here. Do you guys see the way they're defending? This is insane. Let us score. Come on. Let Liverpool score. Who will win, Wales or Poland? That's a good matchup. I think you want Wales to win, but I think it'll be close because I'm from Wales. Yeah, I think, to be honest, I do think Poland are the favorites. Just because they have so much quality in their side. Damn, I don't know how we're going to unlock this Ajax side right now. Guys, I do not know how we're going to do this right now. This is not going to be easy. By any means. Oof, that's a yellow card, guys. Look at that tactical foul there. He was beat. Woo! Imagine. Ajax parked the bus. That's what you guys are saying. No, but we'll score. I'm not too worried. We'll score. Yeah, Martin Skirtle now with his hair looks so young. It's insane. Kian, trust me, this game is going to open up once we get, once more changes come onto the pitch. Because right now the problem is their defenders are just defending for their lives, which is not fun. But the game is going to open up. There's always goals in these. Ooh, that's a nice pass. And that chip. No, I think Ajax are scoring. Oh my. That was actually a beautiful goal from Ajax. Guys. That was actually... Do you see the techers in that goal? Guys. Former city, Man City player scores against us, guys. Do you see that goal though? Look at that interplay again. The initial pass was so beautiful. Look at this. From their number 10. Look at that pass. And then look. The composure to just chip it. Then the control and the finish. Damn guys. 2-0 right now. Damn guys. This game is going to turn cold. Nah, we'll come back. Don't you worry. Yo, Manny FC, nice to see you in the building. Guys, we're going to come back. Don't you worry. Bro, what's this game? We needed a bit of a wake-up call. That's what happens. Sometimes you need a bit of a wake-up call and then you come back. Sven is going to give them that Jurgen Klopp speech at halftime, guys. You best believe. Sven Eriksson is going to pour his heart out.
Oh no, now we've got an injury. The injuries just don't stop, God. Guys. Yo, Mohammed Edits, nice to see you in the building. Yo, CJDA is in the building, nice to see you too. Oh, uh, let's hope it's nothing too serious. It's Fabio Aurelio right now that's getting treatment. Fabio Aurelio. Who's gonna who's gonna come to get ready? Trust Fan. We can't blame them. They haven't played in a year. <laughs> Do you think Kelleher should start for Ireland? Of course. He's class. Look at the way he stepped up for Liverpool. At the highest level. Damn, guys. We're about to know how much additional time. It's already half time. Already half time. Yo, Caden, thank you for your message. Nice to see you. Uh, Liverpool match, do you do live stream on everyone? I'm not sure what you mean, LFC. Who will win, Belgium or England? Well, see tickets. The one tonight is England-Brazil. That's a big one. Yeah, guys, there's going to be two minutes of additional time. Yeah, Aurelio was playing well, to be fair. So that's that's not what we would have wanted to see. That is not what we would have wanted to see. <laughs> no way, I haven't shut the clue. So does everyone support the Premier League in your in your class? You're asking Leo, what's the best version of a team that won the Prem? I mean, I don't know about best version of a team, but I mean, to get 100 points, I don't know if a team is doing that again. Or the Invincibles, to be fair. What do you guys think is a bigger feat, actually? Let me know if you think it's a bigger feat to get 100 points or to be invincible. What do you think is more difficult to redo? Because both, both have only been done once. Nearly Virgil. Every match do you do live stream? Yes, LFC. Yes, YSR. I do it for every every Liverpool game except if obviously I go to the game. Yeah, this is going to be the last quarter. Oh, no, they've cleared it. Yo, Ajax want to win this. Do you see what they're doing? You guys think... 100 points is overrated. No, sorry. You said Invincibles are overrated. 100 points is much better. Yeah, so I would personally agree with that. I think I think getting 100 points is more difficult. And therefore, I think that's got to be the, the best squad team, however you want to say it, in Premier League history. Because they're the only ones to have gotten 100 points. That City team, you know? Okay, guys. Let me stop the timer. Because it is officially halftime. And you guys have asked for it. So at halftime, we're going to do a quit. We're going to do a flag quiz. Instead of what we do usually, where I pull up the players, I'm going to pull up a flag of a country, and you have to try to guess it. Okay, you guys? Flag quiz at halftime. I'm going to start with an easy one, and then and then we're going to get to the more difficult ones. Because some of you guys seem like absolute pros, but not everybody will be. So I want everyone to get a fair chance. Okay, you guys? That's the way I'm going to do it. We're going to see how the first one goes. And then we'll see from there. So this is the first flag, you guys. I'm going to let everyone get a chance. So I'm not going to say the answer with the first one. But I'll see who gets it first. And I'll remember. So don't worry, guys. Whoever's the winner, I'll, I'll remember. Here we go, guys. This is the first flag of the day. First flag of the quiz. The Scouser told me slap and you guys asked for it. So we're doing it, you guys. It is so random. 
But as football fanatics, you guys, we got that flag knowledge. So this is this is something we'll know how to do. The atmosphere is buzzing here today. Yeah, SVS. Anfield is is such a special place. Imagine even for a Legends game where we're losing 2-0, how loud the country is. Uh, the country, what am I saying? I'm thinking of the uh, flags now. How loud Anfield is, is just unbelievable. See, this is kind of a trick question. A lot. Look, the first five of you have said Ireland. Poland, programming, Garvit, Sandra, uh, Tomislav. You've all said England. Luke edits to Fahad. But that's why it's a bit of a trick question. It's a bit of a trick question. But it is the one and only Deli Aura who was the first to get it right. Like I said, there were five guesses, I think, before Deli Aura's comment. And, uh, and it is indeed the Ivory Coast, you guys. The Ivory Coast. I know that it looks a lot like Ireland. And I've personally like gotten them mixed up in the past. So that's why I think it's, uh, it's a bit of a... Of a trick one. Okay, here's the next one, you guys. Here is the next one. So I'm leaving that. Well done, Daily Aura. Right now you're one nil up. Daily Aura says, I was first because I wrote it before you put the flag. No, no, there's no way you wrote it before I put the flag. There's no way you just guessed that. No chance. Okay, ready, guys? Here's the next one. Here is the next one. Yo, Red Knight's in the building. Nice to see you right now. Wait, Red Knight, aren't you where aren't you at Anfield right now? Cause right now we're doing a flag quiz. Daily Aura is 1-0 up right now in the flag quiz. Yo, Mervin, I do remember you. How's it going? We're doing a flag quiz right now. And we've already got a right answer. I see who's gotten it right. I am not going to say who it is just yet. Because I want all of you to guess and improve your knowledge. Yo, Metro's goals. Nice to see you in the building too. Robin says, Fernando Torres, best ever with heart. Guys, good job. A lot of you are getting this one right already. A lot of you. Big up. Because I wouldn't say it's a nation that's so known for its football. Damn, you guys are smashing it. Smashing it. Yo, Omar Gamer, nice to see you. AK007, nice to see you too. You said, nice to see you, man. Hope you remember. I think that flag is Burkina Faso. And you are indeed right. But let me go back to the top because I always shout out who gets it first. And it was Tomislav LFC. Big up Tomislav. You got that one first. And then in second was Martin. And then uh, Garvit. Garvit. Good job, you guys. Big up to same from Iran. Nice to see you in the building. Red Knight says, no, I'm not at Anfield. You got me wrong. I'm just watching the match live. Ah, okay, Red Knight. I see you. I see you. But damn, that first half wasn't the best. We're 2-0 down, but... We can come back. We know we can come back. Okay, guys. Next one. I hope you guys are ready for the next one. I hope you guys are ready for the next one. Here we are. Oh, let me make that smaller. Let me make the next one smaller. Here you are, you guys. So I, I would say this is the most difficult of the three so far. I would say this is the most difficult. So, so far, Tomislav has won and Deli Aura has won. So it is tied at 1-1 right now. Yo, Neymar Jr., thank you so much for the support, for the super chat. I hope you're doing well. Big up to you. Whoa, guys, look at that spam. You guys are smashing it. Whoa, you guys. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that chat went by so fast there. Okay. And you guys smashed it. We got flag experts in the building. Because again, I wouldn't say this is a big footballing nation. So that's why I think it's a little bit more difficult. But clearly you guys had no problem with it. And who got it? It is Mohamed Abdi. And Tomislav was real close again just in second. It is indeed Bangladesh. And then Omar FC in third who also said Bangladesh. But so many of you have got it right. But big up to Mohamed Abdi who did indeed get it first you guys. Y'all are so fast. I have to try to guess in advance. I know, Daily War. It's insane. Okay, the next one's coming up, guys. The next one is coming up here. Man, you guys are smashing it. Absolutely killing it. Okay, this one is going to be hard. This one is going to be real hard. Good luck, you guys. Here we are. Daily R, get your guess in right now. Because <laughs> I'm about to post I'm about to put it up. Here we go. Here it is, guys. No, no one lie whose flag knowledge comes from FIFA. I know mine does. Same AK007. But that's why I, I'm trying to pick some that are more outside the box. Like this is a to give you guys a hint, this is a country in Asia. And again, not a footballing nation. So I think it's a lot harder, but you guys are smashing it absolutely smashing it but i do think this is the most difficult one daily or there's 200 plus people i think it's expected to be fast yeah to be fair damn the chat just goes crazy the chat goes crazy damn we we gotta we gotta we gotta keep um doing these quizzes you guys love seem to love it okay so while wow, muhammad abdi was really close again it is indeed leos guys Oh, no, you didn't. Actually, it's 11, Liverpool 11 that actually got it first. Then it was Mohamed Abdi in second and Tomislav in third. Damn, that's close. <laughs> God, you guys are too good. Jeez, my stream must be behind. Like, how? Nah. Daily or I see it here. Once I, like... Just like it goes so fast that even I'm just like, damn. Yeah, that, that was really close. That was really close. Okay, ready? Now I'm going to be picking um, a country in Europe just because I've done Africa. I've done Asia and I want to represent the different continents. So... Let's see. Let me try to pick one. This one I think is going to be a bit easier for all of us just because with football, I feel like we follow more. But let me see if I can try to get one a little bit more outside the box. That's not like a big footballing nation because otherwise it's just too easy for you guys. Hmm. Ooh, this one's going to be hard. I got one for you guys. This one's going to be hard. I'll be honest. I obviously know this place and I talked about it recently with uh, with someone. But I'll be honest, I, I didn't know this one. So I just learned a new flag today. I just learned a new flag. Let's see if you guys get it. <laughs> Let's see if you guys get it. It's in Europe, you guys. Leo, if you could bring back one current Liverpool player to change his game for us, who would that be? Programming Pranit. It would definitely be Mohamed Salah. He's our most lethal, he's our most lethal finisher. And given his dribbling too and everything, I think you just take players on 1v1 and beat them. So definitely Mohamed Salah, especially with the form that he's in. I know he's coming back from an injury, but look, even right when he came back, he did so well. Wow, a lot of you guys are getting this one too. Damn, you guys. I'm impressed. Damn. Nah, this is a flag. I wouldn't have gone it. You guys are way better than me. Yo, Arcade, nice to see you in the building. Arcade. With the profile picture of us winning the Carabao Cup as well. Love it. People are already guessing before the plot flag arcade. I don't know. Um, let me see who got it first. Tomislav now has two correct answers. Tomislav, you're smashing it. It is indeed Isle of Man. And then in second is Mohamed Abdi, who also is has come close every time and won once. And then Kian, well done, Isle of Man as well. You came in third. Well done, Kian. Wow, you guys are doing so well. <laughs> Kian, 
Garvin thought it was just a drug. Block said right now for, for the halftime show, we're just guessing flags. That's the vibe right now. Gakpo two assists. Yeah. Pula Kessi. I'm not surprised. It's when you play Cody Gakpo in his right position at right at left wing, he does well. He does well. You know? That that's where he's meant to play, so it doesn't surprise me. Okay, now I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick a country in in South America because, like I said, I want to represent the different nations. Let me pick a country in South America. South America. Okay, you guys ready? This might be the last one before the second half gets started. Yo, Danny boy, nice to see you in the building. Right now, we're doing a game of Guess the Flag. That is the halftime game right now. Okay, then I'll do a, mi a Middle East country, okay? If you could bring one programming, Pranit says, another question, Leo. If you could bring one player to their prime from this Matches lineup, who would that be? Stevie G, no doubt about it. Stevie G, if we can bring Stevie G to this midfield, I'd be so confident we could go on and win the Premier League. Imagine a midfield three of Endo, Maka, and Stevie G in his prime. Woo! We win in the whole lot, baby. Guys, the second half is about to get started. They're showing the pitch right now. It's about to get started. Okay, let's see. A lot of you have gotten it right so far. Daily Aura, I see you got it right. Matches goals, I see you got it right. But let me go to the top to see who's got it first. It is... I think some of you are guessing now before it's actually happened. And I think that's what Reese Blackpool did. But fair play because it is, it is indeed Trinidad and Tobago. But if I go down, it seems like Kamlesh also got it. Garvit, well done. Mohamed Abdi got it. Tomislav got it. Jay C got it. Yeah, a lot of you got it. But now it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's what I thought that it would count in uh in, I agree. I thought it was in the Caribbean, but when I look up South American countries, it showed up in there. Dili Ora. Let me check. Look, Deli Ora, it says Trinidad and Tobago is a dual island Caribbean nation near Venezuela. Continent, it says South America. But it's also a country in the Caribbean. Are Trinidad and Tobago, look. Yeah, no, it's not. Okay, yeah, you're right. That's what I thought too. I thought it was in the Caribbean. Because look, it says Trinidad is at... Trinidad and Tobago are actually located in Southern Caribbean, just off the northeastern coast of the South American mainland. While geographically closer to South America, Trinidad and Tobago are considered part of the Caribbean region. Yeah, you're right, Delior. That's what I, I thought that too. But it's weird that on Google, if you look it up, it says that it's in the continent of South America, which is very weird. Yo, Arcade, thank you for the support as always. He says, hey, Leo, I haven't been here for a long time because my dad is in a hospital and in a coma. Hopefully he's okay. Good to see you, though, Arcade. I'm sorry to hear that. I can't imagine how you must have felt. The Like, when did he start being in a coma? That's like the most stressful thing in the world. Well, Arcade, I hope I hope he's good as soon as possible and that he, he finds his health again because that's... Man, that's the worst thing that can happen. I'm praying for you, Arcade. Okay, guys, the second half has just started. And we have our boy Dirk Kout, who's come onto the pitch. Let's see if he can make the impact as a super sub. Dirk Kelp. 
Yeah, you guys smashed it. Okay, let me let me get rid of it now. Okay. Uh you guys smashed it though. I'm really impressed. See you in the England versus Brazil. I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna do a poll right now to see if you guys would tune in for the Brazil versus Yes, Tomislav, it's over for now. Because right now we gotta be concentrated on the game, okay? We gotta be concentrated on the game. But I'm gonna ask you guys if Arcade is saying I it was tough, but I just hope he's fine. My girlfriend has helped me a lot through though. Good to see all of you here. Well, Arcade, we're all here with you. Joe Gomez is the goat says go and kiss his hand right now. I'm sure he's done that. Joe Gomez is the goat. Cheers to all dads in the world. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna run a poll to see if you guys would tune in tonight for the for a watch along. Come on, guys. Let's get that comeback in the second half. Come on. Let's do it. Shout out to you, Ipsan. Tazif, my favorite ever player is Stevie G, who's still on the pitch right now and who I'm hoping will score in the second half. Come on. I'm hoping we get to see that. <clears throat> JSK says Leo would mean the world if you answered this question if you could buy a player for Liverpool any player who would it be <sighs> that's hard that's hard to say I want to hear your guys' answers. I think probably, let's see, the position that we need the most, the two positions I think we'll need the most in in the summer are center back or center defensive mid just for the future. Although we do have Endo and Bajatic there, but still, yeah, those positions I would say probably. Um, but is there a young center back that would come in and just start ahead of, you know what I mean? We have Ibu Kunate and stuff. So I don't even... I'd rather like for the next three years to see Virgil and Ibu Kunate, for example. So I don't know about a center back. But I guess if you say defensive mid... I would love someone like De Young. I know he's not a destroyer type defensive mid, but I think he's so good. Oh yeah, sorry. Look at it. That's, that was my answer. I got asked this before and it's true. It's definitely my answer. Jude Bellingham. Sorry. That's 100% my answer. Jude Bellingham. Just because of his mentality and how I think he would actually fit into the ethos of the club. And obviously given that he's world class and 20 years old. So it would be Jude Bellingham for me. No doubt about it actually. Oh, that was a decent looking cross, but nobody got on the end of it. Aliza, I moved to a new place for the next two months. So that's why it's a different background in a different city too. Hugh says for me, it would be the Georgian Messi from Napoli Krava. I'm going to say Krava too, because... 
His name is too difficult to say. Nice. Durkow wins it back. And Fernando Torres tried to play it into him. But damn, Ajax defends so well. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Everything Gaming, if I had to support, thank you very much for the for the support, by the way, Everything Gaming. If I had to choose one, it would probably be uh, Borussia Dortmund, second club. The vibes are good in the building today. Shadow Stinger, let's see. There's still some time to go in this game. Caden says, if it's a tie, do we go to pens? I think it would go to penalties, yeah. Oh, actually, no. Actually, in the past, I think there was a 5-5, and I think it actually ended as a draw. Right? Guys, remember when it ended as a 5-5 draw, another Legends game? I don't think it went to penalties, actually. Yeah, Virgil is watching. Virgil's in the stands. How is he watching though? He just played for Holland. I guess he came back to Liverpool then. That was close from Ajax. Musampa just hit the crossbar, guys. Happy birthday to you, Big Trent. Big up to you. Nearly 3-0. Guys, what a hit that was to hit the crossbar. Jeez. That was impressive. That was real impressive. Yeah, exactly. Usually the legends are watching Virgil on the TV and now Virgil's watching them. So that's nice to see. Oh, nice, Tommy. Come on, I want to see us take more risks. Back in the box! Yes! Come on! Come on! Who just scored? Who was it that scored, guys? I didn't see clearly who it was that scored, but beautiful. It is 2-1. The comeback kings are starting. The comeback, guys. Come on. W's in the chat right now. This is the start of a comeback right now. Golasso! One-time finish. Goal for Liverpool, says Arcade. Let's go. Reflex expert, let me check the poll results right now. If it's above 75%, then I will do a live for the England-Brazil game. And so far, it's looking good, you guys, because 81% of you have said that you would tune in for an England-Brazil watch-along. Hit that with so much venom. 2-1. <laughs> of course, when I go for a P, they score. It says, look at it. Let's go. Come on, guys. W's in the chat right now. This is the start of a comeback. Almost. Fernando Torres almost got the equalizer mid seconds later. Thank you, Hussein. Big up. I can't join the Brazil as I'm from India. And according to AST, the match will be at 12.30 a.m. Oh, yeah, I get it. I get that. That's early. Golasso. Yeah, guys, this is gonna open this game is gonna be open right now. You best believe. 2-1. Uh-oh. Back post. 
The axe player keeps it in. <laughs> Mahilio, you're the best. Isn't it? It's pretty early for you now, no? Because you're in, in, uh, in the East Coast, right? Adam Gamer, nice to see you in the building. That Gakpo assist yesterday, it was beautiful. For Genie one Eldam, right? You're talking about the one for Genie? Keep the press, guys. Keep the press. I'm so invested in this game right now. <laughs> MR7, you should tune in later than for the watch along because right now it looks like it's happening. 81% of you are saying that you would tune in. Who do I think is going to win? Prob oh, God, there's a pitch invader, you guys. The pitch invader is going straight to Stevie G. Guys, look at the pitch invader. Look, he wants a selfie and Stevie's actually letting him take a selfie. Uh oh, guys. That is nice from Stevie, but at the same time, my only worry with that is that it will, it's going to push other kids to want to invade the pitch too to get a selfie with Stevie. That's the only problem, guys. Pitch invader alert, I know. Guys, that's the only problem. Every, everything Gamer, shout out to you. Thank you for the support and I wish you all the best in your YouTube journey too. You'll never walk alone. But damn, guys, the pitch invader. The kid. Who was a legend, are you saying? SM. Keep the press, keep the press. Look at that tackle. Ref, that's nothing. Guys, on the counterattack. No, ref. Guys, we would have had such a good counterattack there. No. Big up to you, Mahilio. Thank you for the support. It's 12, 15 p.m., yeah. No Liverpool this weekend, though, but next weekend... It's going to be good stuff. We're back in action against Brighton. I believe it's on Sunday, right? Isn't our game on Sunday? Let me check. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday at, at 2 p.m. UK time. At home, we, we're back at Anfield against Brighton. The Zerbies men. Leo, would you invade the pitch to meet Salah? I would not invade the pitch because then I, I'm pretty sure you can get a lifetime ban or like a season ban or something. And I don't want to have that bad relationship with the club. No chance. Do you think Salah will be a legend? He's already a legend, Hussein. If he were to, to not even play one more game for the club, trust he would be up there with the all-time legends. He's already, he's already built his legacy. Now it's just about how much higher he can climb that ladder, you know? Well done there. Who's going to be coming on? No, no subs quite yet. When is Ibu back? Olivia, nice to see you in the building. Ibu Konate is already back. He played for... for he's going to play for France tonight, I think, right? France plays tonight. I mean, if you're going to tune in for the live later, we'll be keeping a close eye on, on the France against Germany game. And that game kicks off at 8 p.m. UK time. So it's at this... Oh, no, it kicks off one hour after the England-Brazil. But I'm pretty sure Ibu Konate is going to even start in that game. Oh, no, maybe not. 
But either way, he's been training with France, so he is back. Like, he's definitely going to be fit and potentially start against Brighton. Nah, it's not Gary Neville, Dilly Or. They would never put Gary Neville on the commentating. I think it's Phil Thompson. I think it's Phil Thompson that you're thinking of. What's your favorite Italian club, says Tomislav. Mine actually... I think mine might be uh, AC Milan. And I say AC Milan because um, because of just the, the, the players that I've played there, you know? And again, when I think back of, like, when I was a kid, like, I remember Pato and the time he had at AC Milan, Robinho, like I said before. Oh, Torres is onside! Please! Oh, look at the skill from Torres! No, guys, Fernando Torres! Oh, the... That would have been such a beauty. Guys. No. I thought that was it right there. I thought that's when Fernando Torres would score. Look at the way he just... He brought down two defenders. That's why Garvit. For me, the Europa League final, what I would most like to see is Liverpool against Leverkusen or Liverpool against AC Milan. One of the two. <sighs> Close again, but the keep, keeper catches it there. Close again. Nah, it's still 2-1. Jamie, it's still 2-1. Omar, nice to see you. FIFA is it, says Leo. Who do you think is the best Liverpool player this season? Who would I... Award is our player of the season. Either Salah, no, or Virgil. And I'm going with Virgil as our player of the season, personally. Just because Salah was injured during that period, so he just hasn't played as many games. Earlier in the season, I would have said Salah. But now I'm going with Virgil van Dijk as our player of the season. And I think he could, if we win the Premier League, guys... I think Virgil's going to win uh, Premier League Player of the Season. That's how good he's been, Virgil. But what do you guys think? Do you agree? You have Stevie in your in your FC mobile team. Nice. Luke edits agrees that it's Virgil. Yo, big up to you, Kimo Ginge from Germany. Virgil easily. Yeah. Danny Boy also says Virgil. Yeah. Or Maka. Maka deserves a shout too. I think our top three players have probably been Maka. Virgil and Salah, just because of the consistency. But to be fair, think about how good Endo's been. But he hasn't just done it long enough. That's the only thing. Well, Maka has been crucial since the beginning. I know, Dilio, 128,000 are watching. 129,000. That's insane. That shows the how big Liverpool Football Club is. <clears throat> Here we go, we want the ball back into the box. Durkel plays it back. Is that not a foul, ref? How is that not a foul there? No, I axe her on the counter. Guys, it's a 1v1 for Ajax. I can't watch. Yes, come on. Vesterveld came out and he chipped Vesterveld. Ryan Babel, Liverpool legend. <laughs> Guys, Ryan Babel did it on purpose. He didn't score to make sure that Liverpool's still in the game. That's my guy. That's my guy, Ryan Babel.
We're still in this game, you guys. 25 minutes left to go and it's 2-1. I still think we can complete the comeback. Come on. Oh, look at that ping. Dirk Kout. Let's see that cross. That's a good looking cross. No. That was so close there. Was it Cissé that was in the box? Guys. Who do I think will win tonight? France or Germany? France. That was close. That was real close. So close from Cissé there. Why is Babo playing for Ajax now? Because Reflex Expert, he's also considered an Ajax legend. So that's why he did 45-45. He switched at halftime. And like I said earlier, Luis Garcia did the same when the Liverpool legends played against the Barca legends. He did a half and a half. But <laughs> yeah, he did want to score against Liverpool. That's what it is. Kaelin Pile, we're not putting Endo in the top three just because he hasn't done it long enough. Because he wasn't in the side week in, week out, like the first three, four months of the season, three months. But at the end of the season, I think we could potentially consider him. It's just now if you look at the whole scheme of the seasons, he hasn't been there since the very beginning. That's why. So beside fan number one, let's be honest, Ukraine are the heavy favorites in the game against you in the game against Iceland. They're heavy favorites. Oh god. Ryan Babo comes close again. Thankfully he didn't score again. And now he's just smiling. Look at him. Oof, that was scary there for a sec, guys. Ali Son all day. Guys, I think Ryan Bubble hit the post. Let's have another look at the replay. Yeah, I think that hit the post. Damn. Well done, Skartal. Yeah, Fernando Torres is absolutely jacked. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Bubble absolutely loves us. Oh, that was close again. Come on, Agar. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sam. Sam, I'm not worried. I just, I want us to score. I want us to score because I know they want to win. This Liverpool squad wants to win. Trust. Come on, guys. We have a corner now. We have a corner. Another corner. <sighs> Olivia says, I love Babel. Come on, back post. No way we haven't scored there. Shara's goals. Thank you for the support. Shout out to you and happy birthday. Yes, Dirk out. No. Guys, how close is that? Look at the replay. Hippia to the back post, then Daniel Agar. And then Dirk Kout tried a bicycle. Imagine. No, he tried the bicycle, guys. I thought maybe. Oh.
Of course, if Zidane had played in the Prem, he would be the... If he played for years in the Prem, he would have been the best midfielder in Premier League history. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. He was saying, good luck. Fasting is... I know is really hard the times I've tried. So good luck to you, but at least know that it's also good for your health on top of the reasons you're doing it. MR7, I usually, I played full back when I played for a team. So either left back, right back. Yeah, go 12, 100%. Yeah, Olivia Sims, I'm going to be doing a watch-along for the Liverpool-Brighton game. That's next Sunday, the 31st. And I should have a special guest on for that game too. I should have a special guest. Tazif, it's it's not going to be easy for France to win the Euros. You look how strong this Portugal team is. You look at this England team. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be competitive this summer, for sure. Thank you, the Boogers, for your con for your message. Thank you very much. Caleb, I'm still gonna say I think France will win the Euros just because they have that crazy X factor player in Kylian Mbappe, which I don't think someone like England has. I know England have Harry Kane, who's who's unbelievable. But is he that X-Factor player that's just going to win you a final? I don't think so. You know what I mean? And Kylian Mbappe is that. So I really think he can be the difference maker again. It feels like we say that we see that every tournament, but that's how good he is. And he and I think he even turns it up a level for France because he loves playing for France. <gasps> Fernando! Oh, guys, that header from Fernando Torres. So close. That was so close from Fernando Torres. Damn. That was close. Big up to all of you that voted, by the way. 80% of you have said that you would join for the England versus Brazil watch along tonight. So that means it is happening, you guys. I'm excited too because I don't think I would have watched the game if I wasn't doing a watch along. So it, it should be a really good one. And like I said, I think Joe Gomez will start. So I'm hyped for him because I think it's the first time in four years. Four years since he's been in the England squad. So today's going to be a big day for him to make an appearance for the senior team again. Back post. CC. Yes. Come on. Guys. 2-2. Two, two. We've done it. The comeback kings are here. What did we say? And it's CC with the goal, guys. CC with the goal. <laughs> Why am I getting so hyped about this game? No, but it's just like you love to see the scenes. You know what I mean? We, we knew it was going to be an open game. And Ajax have defended very well, to be fair. But damn, guys. CC. Back scoring for Liverpool. And it is now 2-2. Stevie plays in that cross. And then, who is it that got the assist? Was it Semi Hippia? Whoever played that ball back in, beautiful, calm and composed. Played a big part in the goal. No, Dirk Kout. W Dirk Kout for that cross and that assist. Beautiful. 90, 999 says Jude Bellingham. Back in it, says Deli Aura. Yes, we knew we were going to come back. We know that's in Liverpool's DNA, whether it's this, whether it's our team right now or our legends. We're just the comeback kings. That's just who we are. W. Kurt. Dirk out there.
Count is a legend. I love Dirk Count. I think he would have been so good in his prime under Jurgen Klopp. He would have been incredible, I think. Yo, Leo, I met Sami Hepia, Steven. He's one of our best. I think if you if you could have if you ask most Liverpool fans or Premier League fans to pick a center back partnership from our Premier League era, I think almost everyone would say Sami Hepia and Virgil van Dijk. That's how good he was. That's how good Sami Hepia was for us. Yes, Eliza. I'll see you then later for the for the England Brazil stream. I'll see you later. I don't think no that you guys were asking earlier about pens. I actually don't think these games go to pens because in the past we saw it and and it didn't go to pens. So I, I hope it does because that would just be more fun, but I don't think it will actually from what we saw in the past. Let's see, maybe that's changed. No. Hey Kazak. How are you doing? Guys, who, who's been the best player for you in, the, in this Legends game so far? Who for you has been the best? I know it's probably hard to pick one, but who would you go with? I'm just curious. Sander Westerveld, you legend. CVG, Sissoko, Fernando Torres, Dudek, coming on. Cissé, come on. Guys, we still got about 10 minutes to find the winner. Here we go, come on. Shoot. Yes, come on. Come. Look at that. Come on, guys. 3-2. What do we say about the comeback kings? Guys, what have we said about the comeback kings? The comeback kings... It's just in our DNA. Arcade, let's go. Come on. Come on. Golasso, we take it. 3 2. Let's go, guys. We were 2 0 down at halftime, and where are we now? 3-2 up. Who do you think is the man of the match so far? I'm asking you guys that. Because right now I'm preparing, actually. I'm also putting out the graphics soon for, for Liverpool goals. And I ju I'm just thinking about putting Stevie G and Sven on there. Just because that's... Elzar with the Liverpool winner, potentially. I mean, there's still 10 minutes left to go. Now Ajax are going to go full-on attack now. Well, Zach, it's happening now because of the amount of votes. There's been nearly a thousand of them and over 800 of you, are, sorry, over 80% of you are saying that you would tune in. So it is happening, Zach, later tonight. Leo, what did I say? Trust Sven. Guys, that's Sven halftime speech. That's what we like to see. But I want to hear who you guys' is man of the matches. I see Go12 is going for Torres. Trend Boy says I'm back and I've clearly missed a lot. Yes, you have. But man, in the box again. Oh, this is nice. I want a Fernando Torres goal or I want a Stevie G goal. Oh, that was nice. No. Guys, did you see that back pass from Torres to Agger? Imagine he had scored that.
Imagine he had scored that. Oh, the scenes. Sven, man of the match. That's who I would go for. How crazy is it, guys, that 150,000 people are watching it on, on the Liverpool channel right now? 150,000. That's actually unbelievable. That's such a high... Like, I've never seen a streamer get that high of a number. I've never seen a streamer. Have you guys seen such a high number on YouTube for, for a live stream? Because that's insane. Yes, Mina. I'm doing the stream tonight. Because over a thousand of you have voted. And let me check what the updated um, result is. 79% of viewers said that you would tune in. So it's happening. Do you think Kobe will start tonight? Karez, let me... I don't think he's actually going to start because he got added on later in the squad, but <sighs> Agar comes close again. We know he can hit them from a distance. Sidemen charity match hat had in the millions. No, they didn't. Deliora. But not watching at the same time. I, I, I've watched those before. I'm almost sure it wasn't in the millions. Deliora. If you look at the end, it's in the millions. Everything added together. But live at the same time. Game Theory's final stream got 300k, I'm pretty sure. Damn. I don't know Game Theory's though. But... Oh, here we go. Cisse has some space on the left. Play it to Torres. No, Cisse. Torres had made a run through there. <gasps> Torres! Yes! Goal! Goal! Fernando Torres gets his goal, guys. That's what we wanted. We wanted a Fernando Torres goal. And he's gone. It is now 4-2. Come on. Guys, this Liverpool team... We are just the comeback kings. We all wanted a Torres goal and we got it, baby. Who was it that got the assist there? Who was it that got the assist? Why am I getting so high for a charity game? <laughs> you love it. You love to see it. <laughs> Torres scored El Nino. Come on. He seals it for us, Garvey. Yes, he does. We are the comeback kings. Whether it's our first team or the legends. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing, baby. Now I got to put a picture of Torres on there. For the full-time graphic. Fernando Torres. We still got five minutes left to go and then additional time. But man, we got Fernando Torres. Cherry on top. Cherry on top. Dirk out as you remember the match as Luke edits. To be fair, he came on in the second half. And that's when we scored four goals in the second half. So Dirk definitely played a role in that. The energy that he brought. I'm Connor says the legends have that Liverpool DNA still with this Liverpool comeback. Come back, Kings, indeed, says Amir. Torres is getting a standing ovation now at Anfield. Fernando Torres is coming off, guys. Look at Anfield. See, even though he left Liverpool for Chelsea, remember Liverpool fans were burning his shirt? It shows that over time, I think you can put those emotions aside and appreciate a player. What do you guys think? How do you feel about Fernando Torres? Because personally, I'm the type where in the moment, like I said, when Coutinho left, I was really sad and a little angry, I'll be honest. But now, like, all those hard feelings are gone, you know what I mean? They just are.
Oh, Rian, that would be my dream to play in a game at Enfield. I mean, to be fair, uh, with some of these legends. Pfft. Even the legends want to keep our, our beaten home streak alive. I love it. I love it. Just what I needed after that United game. Yeah, having just a clue. Just good vibes. The comeback, just like our team right now. Klopp must have sneaked into the dressing room for a halftime talk. Now nah, that's the comment. Danny boy, I'm pinning you right now, Danny boy. That's the comment right there. De Liora, he didn't force himself out like Coutinho did, but he did leave for Chelsea, who are much bigger rivals of Liverpool. So that's why, it, to me, it's worse to go to Chelsea than forcing yourself to go to Barca. Personally, that's what I think. Wait, where's your comment? Oh, yeah. Klopp must have sneaked into the dressing room for the halftime talk. Danny Boy, you're getting pinned, my guy. You're getting pinned. You'll never walk alone going off right now, guys. Let's start that you'll never walk alone chain. <gasps> Back in the box. Durkel. Oh, guys, nearly. Oh, guys, that was close. Yeah, go 12. Isn't it beautiful? Rian, the transfer that hurt me the most is definitely Torres. But now, like I said, years later, I don't have that hatred anymore or resentment or anything like that. Like now, I just want good vibes. You know what I mean? So that's why I clapped him off when he came off too. Because he, he, did, he did have some unbelievable years with us. You know, and when I was a kid, I loved him so much. So... Yes, Farhan, I am doing it. Brazil, England. Let's see how much additional time there'll be. Probably not that much, to be fair. But damn, guys, we scored four goals in the second half. Is this what you? Is this the type of game that you guys expected? Tell me what you were expecting from today. Like for me, since I've watched the Liverpool Legends games before, this is what I expected. But I'm curious to hear. For those of you where it was your first Legends game, what did you guys think? Curious to see. Nice, Agar. Oh, what is that pass? Come on. That was not a good pass. That's it, guys. That is the full-time whistle. That is the full-time whistle. We've done it again, guys. I want to hear your men of the match shouts right now. But you're going to see the picture I'm preparing for Liverpool goals and that I'll share with you guys. What I think is the most important is what this means to Sven, what this means for, for charity and everything. That, that's what it's all about.
four to 150,000 people watching the live stream on YouTube right now. What a football club. I know. Zach, this is insane. Imagine. I will join for the Brazil. Ahmed, nice to see that. Nice to see that. Look, Fernando Torres with Sven right now, guys. Yo, Jack Watson, nice to see you in the building. Yeah, I do like, of course, I like Olivia. I do, of course, I like uh, New York because I live there and a lot of my closest friends are there. I'm watching from YouTube. Yes, Van Dyke edits. Guys, I'll show you the, the full-time graphic that I prepared. Let me stop the timer first. I'm going to end the timer right here. And this, this is the one. Just because it's true, I could have put, I could have put Torres on there, but I think, I think it was, Sven was like what 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 we what's gonna be most memorable about this game and to see Stevie G back at Enfield again to me that's what hits the heart most and full time whistle four two another comeback. Zach, it's going to be the setup for the next two months at least. Next two months while I'm in Lille. Sven really had an amazing game. Who scored for us? Oh, guys. Gosh, guys, I got to show you this picture with Stevie in the back. Guys, look at this picture. Hold on, let me get this picture for you guys. You'll see Stevie is literally smirking, smiling in the background as Fernando Torres was celebrating. Guys, look. Let me pull this up for you guys, this picture. No, wait, hold on. That was not the one I was trying to pull up. Yeah, this is the one, guys. Look at this picture of Torres celebrating. And of course, it's Stevie G in the background. And look at the smile from Stevie. Can you guys see that right now, guys? He still has the legs, Faran. I thought Stevie was great today. I mean, Torres. He was just involved in every, every part of the game. I thought he would score more, to be fair. But Ajax, you got to give him credit. Even if we scored four goals in the second half, especially in the first half, I thought they defended really well. Yes, Slasher, I'm going to be streaming the England versus Brazil watch along because you guys voted for it. You guys win on this one. I, like I said, I, w I don't think I would have watched it otherwise, but now it's going to be good vibes in the building, so I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, nice, Big Trent. Stevie G, the legend. Look at that pig, guys. Look at Torres with Stevie in the background.
Do you guys see this? I hope Coutinho ne never gets invited to these Legends games. Turned his back on Klopp. I'd rather have Genie over Coutinho. But Deli Ora, think about it. Coutinho was our the best transfer in Le Let's be honest. Coutinho, I think, is by far Liverpool's greatest ever transfer in our history. We signed him for less than £8 million from Inter Milan. And we sold him for over 140 Right? That allowed us then to get Virgil and Alisson with, which, with our ownership. We wouldn't have been able to do otherwise, and that won us the whole lot. We needed Alisson and Virgil to be able to do it. So imagine. That's why I don't have any type of like resentment towards Coutinho now. Like I said, in the moment, I remember he actually blocked me on Instagram. <laughs> Guys, fun story. I'm, I'm talking about Liverpool goals. Coutinho, I'm pretty sure, was following Liverpool goals. And when he said that he had that back injury and he basically forced the move. I remember I was really emotional one day and I just commented snake, like snake emojis <laughs> on one of his pictures. And uh, and he blocked he blocked me. So like literally if I look, I can show you guys. I, if I look Coutinho up on Instagram, it doesn't even show up because he's blocked. Literally, guys. Has he still blocked you? I can check live time with you guys right now. Literally. Hold on. Yup. Look. Wait. If I look up Coutinho, his wife is the only thing that shows up. And look, if I go to his wife and let me find a pick with Coutinho... Yeah, guys, I can't even click on it. I can't even click on it because he's, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There you can see it. Look. It just says no post yet. So I'm still blocked. What was the year he blocked? It was literally the year. What, what year exactly was that? Was it 2017? Let me check. Two thousand eighteen, January of 2018. <laughs> Daily Aura, it's not good. I usually show a lot of respect for players, so I felt really bad when that happened. Damn. I did feel real bad. I will be honest. But unfortunately, yeah, I don't think he's going to be. I don't think he's unfollowing, unfortunately. <laughs> no, sorry. Unblocking. But yeah, guys, that is going to be... Yo, Lewis loves Liverpool. Nice to see you in the building. Guys, that's going to be it for this one. Just because, like I said, 
there will be another live stream very soon then tonight for england brazil and so i'm gonna get the graphics and everything prepared with that with dian shout out to my guy dian but yeah guys thank you all for joining today that was good vibes in the building we started off two nil down at halftime we came back but like i said earlier the most important was definitely not the result today it was making Sven Eriksson's dream come true of finally managing Liverpool and raising millions of pounds for the Liverpool Foundation. So that's what it's all about, you know, and that's why I love these games. I think it's so smart that we do them because it's a good occasion all around for everyone. And there are nearly 60,000 fans at Anfield, which shows how special this football club is. So days like these really, I think, remind us that this means more, you know, and I'm just so happy I got to celebrate with you guys. And... Like I said, later we're going to be doing the England versus Brazil watch along. And for the halftime of that, I can also do more flag quizzes because you guys not only killed it, but you seem to love it. So there'll be more of that then too. But yeah, guys, I'm not going to say enjoy. Yeah, uh, enjoy the next. I'll see you guys literally in two hours. So big up everyone. I'll see you later tonight. And yeah, for those of you that are having a meal, enjoy your meal and uh, and see you guys soon.